I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas number 10. This is getting, we're getting up there. It is currently a Sunday when I'm filming this and we are gonna have a little cute Sunday fun day, go to Trader Joe's, maybe get like some holiday stuff. We haven't really gotten any holiday stuff from Trader Joe's yet this year. So I'm gonna stop by and get some coffee, get some Trader Joe's. We're leaving in a few days. So this is more just like for fun. This is honestly like our idea of a good time. So gonna get like a holiday-ish coffee, find a coffee shop on the way and have a cute little Sunday fun day. So come on. Let's go. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Hi, <y 'all. laughs> That's it. I actually think I'm going to get the. Taking notes, I would like this table in my house immediately. Oh my god, I haven't tasted mine yet. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I genuinely haven't tried mine yet, but he has. And you said it's good? Yeah, it tastes like eggnog. Nice. I got the peppermint mocha and he got an eggnog latte. Sorry, an oat nog latte. Oat nog. No eggs were harmed. Mmm. Actually, you know what? I could have done all the syrup. Mm -hmm. I asked for like half the amount of syrup that they usually do, but it's really good. Delicious. Okay, off to Trader Joe's. Genuinely devastated. They don't have my tangerine juice. So sad. It's the best. Side note, we tried these jicama wraps as taco shells one night and they actually were really good. If you like a good fresh crunch. All right, we're on the hunt for pesto. They have a really good vegan pesto. I've never seen these before. They're called a protein dark chocolate muffin. I have never tried it. But I'm going to. I don't know why I'm so intrigued by this. Drew said it looks gross, but I really want to try it. So you're coming home with me. <laughs> you're done. You're cut off. Oh dear God. All right, we are back from Trader Joe's. It was kind of a flop, but we did find some things at the end. So, all right, let's show you our holiday Trader Joe's haul. Actually, I kind of want to get rid of the frozen stuff first. Layla is letting everyone know that she's here. Hi, Maywise. Hi. Hi. Hello, baby. All right, so I'll do the frozen stuff first. We got two more of the jasmine rice. I feel like I show this now in every Trader Joe's haul, but it's just so convenient. You literally put it in the microwave for two minutes and it kind of just tastes the same as like normal rice. So we got that. We got some mini chicken tacos. These are a classic. I have been getting these for God knows how long, years at this point. We got these Eggwish breadless breakfast sandwich. Why is that so hard for me to say? It's turkey sausage and American cheese. And then like the patties are actually made out of egg. And Drew likes those, so we got those. And then I did let my curiosity get the best of me. I did get these Philly cheesesteak bao buns. It says Philly cheesesteak and a fluffy bao bun with shredded beef, onion, and bell pepper. And that just sounds delicious to me. And like, I like barbecue chicken bao buns and like, you know, interesting flavor combos. So why not? Let's try it. Next, 
semi-holiday-ish. We got these soft baked snickerdoodles. These are so delicious and I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're vegan and gluten-free. I don't know what they're made out of, but these are so good. And I'm pretty sure these are available year round, so you don't just have to get them during the holidays. But they are so, so good. I love them. Those will be gone in no time. I got some egg bites. These are the cheddar cheese and uncured bacon kind. They are delicious. Put a little hot sauce on them. They're amazing. We got some pasta sauce just to have. This is just their tomato basil marinara sauce. We got two more tunas. Drew is a big Trader Joe's tuna fan. Did you say you like this better than like grocery store tuna? Like normal? Yeah, it's chunkier. It's chunkier. So there you go. We also got two of the vanilla overnight oats. I really like the Mush brand, but Drew really likes this one. I mean, I like it all. It's all delicious. Um, that one's really good. I wish they had more flavors though. I wish they had like chocolate or like, they have an almond butter one, but that one's not my favorite. So vanilla's good. We got pesto, which is why we came. Um, and this is the vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. It's really delicious. So we're gonna make like our favorite pasta tonight, which is tortellini, zucchini, summer squash, and pesto, and it's real good. Oh, and sausage. And then we got a couple of croissants. We got chocolate for me, butter croissants for Drew, just to have for like the next couple of mornings before we head out. Going back to Arizona in a few days, oh my God. And then we got some avocado, avocado's number. What does that mean? Avocado's number, guacamole to go. Avocado. What does that mean? Finally, division problem solved. We could think of no better name for this guacamole than avocados and numbers. The number of premium Haas avocados mixed into this guacamole boggles the mind. Not unlike Avogadro's number, the brainchild of mathematical physics professor Lorenzo Avogadro. I knew there was like, I was like, what is going on? I got some guacamole, Jesus Christ. Anyways, that's why am I like this? <clears throat> yeah, that's him on the front, I guess. Sorry. I get very easily distracted. Um, I thought this was really cool. This isn't holiday-ish, or maybe it is, I don't know, but they have like Trader Joe's versions of Tim Tams. If any of you are in Australia, I know you're probably like, I'm sorry, what? Those are not Tim Tams. I agree. I thought it'd be fun to try it. It does look like they look pretty similar. We'll have to do the Tim yeah, Tam we'll Slam. we'll have to do the Tim Tam Slam. We've had actual Tim Tams from Australia. Yeah. One of our friends a few years ago dated someone from Australia and like we went to a party, he was there, he brought Tim Tams for everyone, but also we've had like the American version. So we'll have to see what those are like. I got more of these dark chocolate peanut butter date royales. It's like these dates that are filled with peanut butter covered in chocolate. A lot of people make these, um, but these are just nice to have. They're like little individually wrapped ones. They're really good. Ooh. I did get a candle. I can't say no to candles because a lot of you noticed that when we went to the mall a couple of long misses ago, I was gonna go to Bath and Body Works and then I was like, oh, I don't wanna carry around all this stuff, so we'll just go on the way out. And then when we were on our way out, we kind of forgot, but also like everything was closing, so we didn't get any candles, which is probably for the best, but. Oh, this is the cedar balsam candle. It literally just smells like the most delicious Christmas tree. I'm gonna light that right now. Oh, what? Why can't I grasp anything with my hands? Okay, then the rest of this stuff is like more holiday-ish stuff. Oh, besides this, I showed this, but this is a protein dark chocolate muffin. I don't know, it's kind of like those, um, yeah, I thought I'd try that. Who knows if that's good or not. And then, okay, we got these. I am so sorry in advance, because I am not gonna pronounce this correctly, but this is called the Sugar Glazed Lebkuchen, Lebkuchen? cookies and these are from Nuremberg, Germany. My dad would be very disappointed that I dis that I mispronounced it. It's been made for 600 years. Monks began adding a flavorful dough to the wafers being made for mass and over time more ingredients and spices were added. This is Trader Joe's version of these German, it looks like Christmas cookies. They look very festive. They do have like nuts and fruit or oh. nuts and spices, which is like Drew's worst nightmare, but we're gonna try it. Why? Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, speaking of nuts, we got some toffee to try, and this is the dark chocolate roasted pistachio toffee. We both like pistachio. I feel like this might be good, but I'm not like a big toffee person, but we're gonna try it. Why not? We got some more toffee for Drew's grandma. We're gonna give some of this to her for Christmas. How cute. Look, we have Big Ben, 
We have a little guard. We have a phone tower. Don't remind me. All a I've been thinking tower. about is that I want to, or a phone booth. Whatever. <laughs> All I've been thinking about is that I want to go back to England, so I'm devastated. Um, these are called decked out tree cookies with milk chocolate filling, white chocolate drizzle, and festive sprinkles. How cute are these? We'll pretend like we made them. Yeah, because we're just gonna put them on the tray of like cookies. Okay. We're making one kind of cookie tonight, you'll see. And then we're just, the rest is just pre-made stuff. So anyways, and then we got Trader Joe's favorite sweets, an inspired truffle collection. There is Stroop waffle flavor. Yum. Yeah. Peppermint chocolate flavor. Mm. Panettone. Panettone? Panettone flavor. And gingerbread truffle. Who is that? Panettone. Um, cake, I know. Well, I got one, so oh. I'll tell you in a second. And then, as luck would have it, is this like this so people can hang them on the tree? I don't know. That's kind of cute. Or is it just supposed to look like that? Is it called panettone or panettone? It's I'm Italian. I'm an uncultured I don't Same, know. I don't know. But I, I know that like they're big in the UK as well, or at least I see people eat them at Christmas time. Panettone. It looks like a bread that's filled with like raisins and maybe fruit, ginger, something like that. Orange peels. Typical like Christmas flavors. So we'll try that. And then last but not least, we got some salsa. That's to go with mini chicken tacos. So there we have it. That is our Trader Joe's Christmas haul, holiday haul. We are going to test some of that stuff out later, but in the meantime, we're gonna maybe get some lunch. We were really devastated because we really wanted to get um, the Korean short ribs from Trader Joe's. We've been seeing everyone talk about them on TikTok and saying that they're actually pretty good and we wanted to try them, but they didn't have them. So we might like order some from Erewhon or maybe like try to find like a Korean restaurant nearby and order some, because that just sounds really good for lunch, but we'll reconvene later. It is many hours later, it is now 6 p.m. and I will let you take one guess as to what happened when we got home this afternoon. We sat on the couch, we watched TikToks, we ordered lunch from Erewhon and we fell asleep as per usual. That's what Sundays are for, you know? So we're back at it. We're refreshed. Drew just took a shower. He's feeling like himself again. And I just guzzled like half of this water. And we're gonna have a fun festive night. It's like one of the last nights that I'm gonna be vlogging for Vlogmas. So we're gonna just like do all of the cozy vibes. The tree is on, it's been on since this morning. We're gonna like watch some good movies or maybe possibly the Gavin and Stacy Christmas special, we'll see. So we're gonna try our Trader Joe's treats, make our cookies, but first we're gonna make mulled wine. And we've done this before. I can't remember if we use this exact recipe, but we're gonna be using none other than Miss Mary Berry's recipe. Mulled wine isn't like super popular here in the US. Obviously, if you're from here, you know that. Um, maybe in like colder maybe, states, but- Maybe the East Coast, but yeah, in the Southwest. Not in Arizona or California that I'm aware of. And so we just thought we would like bring a little bit of holiday coziness. So if we're making this incorrectly, Oh well, it's hot wine. What do you what do you want? So okay, let's look up the recipe. Oh, that is definitely gonna fall. You are resting on a jar of dog treats. Um, so Godspeed. All right, the first thing. Oh my gosh, I got this thing on Amazon in like 2020, and we use it like every time we cook. You literally do this or this, and you can put either like a cookbook or your tablet. Or if you do it this way, vertically, you can put your phone on it. I don't know if they still make it. You fell. <laughs> I caught you. Anyways, okay. So we're going to pull up the recipe. Very, very old wine. So you like pour the wine, you cut up the citrus, you put the spices. So we're gonna show you what we're adding to ours from this recipe. We're gonna do a, a loose interpretation of Miss Mary Berry's recipe. So, all right. In she goes. It's kind of splashing actually. Mm -mm -mm. Hot wine. So here we have our wine. Don't mind the splashes, it's fine. Now we are going to add all of our citrus. We're using one lemon, one navel orange, and three little clementine cuties. We're gonna use maybe two cinnamon sticks because they're not like that pungent. It's like one and then one sort of littler one. And then we're gonna do like eight cloves. I don't know if that's too many, but that's what we're doing. And yes, mind your business. We'll start it on here. Drew was genius and he has these bags, these like tea bags for loose leaf tea. And so he put the cloves in there so they're not like 
loose all over the place, although people do often do that. I wouldn't care, but he's very organized, so there you go. I'm only doing this because Mary Berry said so, but I am gonna add a little bit of water. I'm just gonna do like that much, because we are simmering it, and I don't want it to turn into syrup. Okay, now we're gonna cut up our citrus, so we're gonna do some lemons. I'm just gonna stick these in there, squeeze these, and then I'm actually gonna do the zest as well. Again, this is like, you know, an adaptation. If we're not doing this correctly, oh freaking well. Beautiful. Look, how, look, look at, that, at zest. that zest. That is so zesty. And then I guess I'll squeeze that in there as well. So, we're gonna do our little lemon slices. So we got some lemon in there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then we're gonna do the oranges. Great. Thank you. Oh, forgot the zest. Oh, we're going back. Look at that, so festive. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the oranges. Okay, orange peels. And then we're gonna squeeze this in. These got the good juice. Oh my God, look how cute! That's why they call them cuties. And then I'll just squeeze the other two. Feels like a lot more citrus than we used last time. Oops, but it's fine, right? We'll see. This looks very festive. Like how cute is that? Is the cinnamon and stuff? Now we let her simmer and we just see what happens, right? Hopefully it tastes good. It's gonna taste like orange juice. Okay, here's what it's looking like. And we're gonna add a little bit of sugar as well. I'm gonna do like two tablespoons and then we'll see. Cause I don't want it to be too sweet, but it smells good. Of course we have to relight our Christmas candle. It smells really, really good. Oh, Trader Joe's really does have good candles and they're very affordable. I think it's just like $5. So now we're just putting the lid on it and letting it cook for a little bit. I don't think we're gonna let it cook for an hour because we wanna drink it, and then we're gonna add the brandy to it when it's done being cooked. Okay, we found a different angle. Oh, look, it, like, it's all steamy in the background. Oh, That's yeah, so it's like cute. Christmas. That is, it's oh, Christmas. Christmas. Oh. Okay, so next we're gonna make a personal Drew favorite, mm -hmm. and it's called avalanche cookies, and didn't you say like someone at your old job would bring them in or something? Yeah, I had someone I worked with who used to do like a cookie swap with her family, mm -hmm. so you'd make like, 48 oh my God. cookies and then you bring all your cookies and then you go around to each person and, like and you take two cookies each so you would come home with like 50 cookies. 50 cookies but each one was different oh that's cool so that's how he discovered it and then i guess she would bring in like the leftovers to work or <laughs> my whatever old manager, I used to fire yeah this, this cookie. <laughs> and so we started making them probably like four or five years ago and also you don't have to bake yeah, they're super easy. This like, is a drop cookie. We were really ambitious last year. I think last year we made like three different kinds of cookies. And which one turned out the best? The avalanche cookies, yeah. yeah. And so they're the best. So basically all you're gonna need is two cups of Rice Krispies. You're gonna need a cup of mini marshmallows, which thank God we have, because I placed an Instacart order and they gave me the big ones. So we had these left over. A pound of white chocolate. This isn't quite a pound, but it's it'll do. And then a half a cup of creamy peanut butter. They were out of gin. Don't come for me. I'll link the recipe we're using down below. This particular one is from, oh, cookies and cups. Got our foil. Parchment paper is better, but whatever. We're working with what we got. So we're gonna mix our cereal and our marshmallows in the bowl. And Drew is gonna melt the peanut butter in the chocolate. And extra. Should I just add them all? Yeah. Why not? Well, you're a little baby. And then two cups of cereal that I just spilled. One cup of, oh, things are going well for me. I'll do like a little less. I love Rice Krispies. Yeah, actually, I'm I'm okay with a little bit more. I'm okay with like very a full sweet. cookie. Yeah, these are very... I'm not allowed to do the dropping part. Why? They make them too big. Yeah, Drew makes them huge. Okay, got those in the bowl. I'm gonna mix them up. Look at her. Absolutely stunning. I would just eat that, honestly. <laughs> Give me a spoon. And then this combination. Oh my god. And then how like many seconds at a time are you doing? Like 30? Just turn 30 seconds. I don't 30 want it to seconds like, at a time. If you were, you know, more professional, you could definitely you do like a double broiler or whatever it's called, double boiler. But we're doing the lazy man's version. But definitely don't overcook the chocolate. Oh my god. Yes. Now we're gonna put her into her and watch the magic happen.
In the fridge you go, friends. You don't have to set them in the fridge, but we're going to, and we're gonna make dinner. We are bored and impatient while we're waiting for our dinner, so we've got these cute little mugs. I think these are similar to like what you're supposed to serve while buying it. I think the regular ones are like a little bit taller, but that's okay. And we are gonna do a little bit of brandy in each one. I'm gonna do like half a shot. Go. And I've garnished it with like a cute little clementine. And I just ladle it in here. <clears throat> smells very spiced and very festive. It kind of just smells like potpourri to be honest. Oh yeah. Minus like the rose petals. <laughs> I guess I probably could have strained it. But it's fine. It's fine. Alright. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. To Happy all holidays, all everybody. It's actually really good. It's really good. Wow. Imagine like walking around with this and it's like snowing outside and there's like- In a European a Christmas hat. market, you all. Just kidding, <laughs> I'm jealous. We're so jealous. It's really good. This is really good, honestly. It's pretty tasty. Really, really good. It's literally hot, spice. I forget I'm drinking wine and I want to drink. Like it's so warm and cozy, I just want to like Gold drink bed. it down, but then I remember it's wine and you gotta it, be careful. I'm sure that in like the um cooking process, like it, but some of the alcohol gets cooked. Yeah, that's why she added brandy at the end. Yeah, brandy was the move. It's not too sweet, it's not too spiced or too citrusy, it's just right. Wow, you go, Mary Berry. Oh, buddy. Welcome. He's birthed. He's birthed. Wow. Were you cozy under there? Yeah, it's so warm. I haven't shown you a lot this Vlogmas. I haven't shown either of the pets a lot during Vlogmas. Just honestly because they've been going through like health stuff. And I don't know. I don't want to shove a camera in their face. Also, they're both old. So like they just lay around all day long now. Like Moose sleeps 20 hours a day. I would say maybe more at this point. All he wants to do is like be under a blanket of some sorts and be asleep and be not freaking bothered. And then when he wants to, he wants to be like laying on you uh -huh. or cuddled or whatever. But he's still here. He's still chugging along. Aren't you, Moo? Aren't you, buddy? You're only yes. out because we have food. Wherever the food is, you can count on this one being there. Oh my God, she literally looks like a loaf. Love it. Way up in the mountains, in the high range of pontoons, we have to, obviously. Yes. Okay, I've just made the most incredible Christmas board ever. It's a cookie board. Look at that. Well, Christmas treats. So we have the Lebukin cookies, I think they're called. We have the Christmas tree cookies, the pistachio toffee, the gingerbread snickerdoodles, or sorry, they're just like just regular snickerdoodles. The avalanche cookies, we cut up the panettone, and we got the truffles. We have someone joining us <laughs> in the background. He's like perfectly in the middle of us. Okay, taste test time. We, if you can hear the Grinch in the background, we do apologize, but we gotta have the festivities. We're watching a Christmas movie like every night until Christmas. Okay, where should we start? I don't want these. Oh, the truffles? Mm. So I don't know if I, did I show them? Yes, this is what they look like. So we have Stroopwafel. One of these is Panettone. One of them is gingerbread, peppermint, and Stroopwafel. Can I have half of that? Look at that. Drew loves a Stroopwafel. Mmm. Mm. Kind of just tastes like caramel. Yeah. Very rich. That's so sweet. I don't know if I want to try the other ones. No. So sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try first. Pistachio toffee. Mmm. Pretty I like, good. I like toffee. Mm -hmm. It's like toffee in the middle and then a layer of dark chocolate and pistachio. It's the pretty dark good. chocolate really helps cut mm -hmm. through the sweet. Mm -hmm. Who's next? Moo, you decide. Which one should we try next? Let's try the... Yeah, I actually need to look it back up again so that I know how to say it. Love 
That's what Google says. Leb Kutchen? Leb Kutchen. Okay, we're gonna try these Leb Kutchen cookies. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, it's like, is it fluffy? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's like chewy. That way. Uh -huh. This feels like flavors you would like. I think it's really good. It's pretty tasty. It's sort of loosely, like, way less orangey, but it kind of has, like, the same spices and flavors as, like, mince pies. Mm -hmm. Just way less intense. But it's really good. I like the, like, hard icing on the top. I thought it was going to be really sweet because of the yeah. icing, but it's not. And the cookie is really chewy. That's really good. Okay, should we try the Christmas tree? Yeah. Boy. So it looks like, I think it's just, like, a shortbread cookie. Yeah, and then chocolate and sprinkles. Mmm. The chocolate is soft. Oh. Mmm. That's my favorite so far. It's mm -hmm. almost like if the Keebler Elf cookies. I was cookies, about to say that. I was going to say the same thing. The Keebler Elf cookies because it's like that fudge. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not too sweet either. Mm -mm. I mean, I we you, we've had these before, haven't we? Uh -huh. They're so, so soft. They're so chewy. It's almost like dough. Let's go. Mm. I'm going to go with like tea and coffee. That's how we used to eat them back mm -hmm. in the day when we used to get them. We would just have them with like our morning coffee. Mmm. And they're vegan and gluten-free. Mm, nice. I know. All right, should we try the bread? 10 out of 10, by the way. I'll have the bottom because there's like less raisins. <laughs> good. It's like a raisin bread. Mm-hmm. Like a raisin orangey. and orange. Mm-hmm. I think it's good. Yeah. It's like an orangey bread with I like raisins in it. Flavored. Mm hmm All right. Last but not least. We can split this one too. Yeah. Mm. They're so good. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Everything's really good. And so now we're just gonna put foil over this, pick away at this, and we'll also bring it with us to Arizona because um, we have like extras of all of this stuff. But that's gonna do it for Vlogmas today. Um, it is like 8 p.m. We're gonna watch the rest of the Grinch. Oh, and show the baby I Grinch. I love baby Grinch. Merry Christmas, Martha May. I hate Christmas. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We have two more left. We're getting down to the wire. And I'm excited, but also like kind of sad. It's been so fun this year. I feel like we've been like extra festive this year. We've done like so many different things. So mm -hmm. happy about A it. A lot, mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Merry Christmas, Martha May. Merry Christmas. <laughs>